Hey guys, Homer here. Uh, I'm talking really loud. Wow. Uh, it's mail day. I went to my mom's and I went to the mall and then I bought from Plan B yesterday. So here is my pickups. We have a lot to go through. <sighs> Excuse me. My first one is an eBay pickup. It was mislisted. It had a really weird name. It was like, uh, the title was something like, this is a NASCAR crew shirt or NASCAR shirt. Uh, and then it had nothing to do with the actual shirt, but and it said like stacker two, but I picked this up. It is, uh, that's a terrible look. Uh, it's Scott Wimmer's 2003 shirt and Kenny Wallace's 2004 shirt. I think I'm leaning towards Kenny Wallace's 2004 shirt, judging off of pictures. And it would make sense considering, um, YJ Stinger was on the car, but Stamina RX was a prominent partner for Scott Wimmer in that 23 in 2003. So that's why I'm leaning towards Kenny Wallace. But it's close enough and it'll go well in the collection. You won't be able to tell the difference anyway. So uh, Next, we have a very, very cheap um, pickup from eBay as well. I bought this for $6.00. Or a, a dollar win auction. This is David Gilliland's 2007 Breast Cancer Awareness. Um, no, Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Awareness Ford Winter Circle Car. I never had this growing up, so that's pretty cool to have. I need to find a 2007 Ricky Rod. That's what I'm really looking for. But I don't know whether or not I'm going to keep this in the package or not. This is a. It was a dollar, <laughs> so I can't complain about that. I kind of snookered the auction. Next, we have the probably or the most expensive car here, and it is Bobby Hamilton Jr.'s 2003. It's cat litter on there. I don't know how that got up there. Apparently, Albert's been on the counter again. Uh, short pack 2003 Bobby Hamilton Jr. Marines Ford. Now, this and Kenny Wallace's Stacker 2 Dodge were short pack die casts, and what that means is that if if this if there was a case, let's say, and there's eight or ten cars per case, uh, and let's say, for example, Mark Martin had four per case, and then the rest were all two or three, Bobby Hamilton Jr. would be one per case or uh, one every other case. So I'm really glad to get this. I didn't, I knew it existed, but I had problems finding it, and I still need to find the Kenny Wallace. I think that's going to be even more obscure. It's weird that they made Kenny Wallace's Bill Davis car into a Hot Wheels car, but not Ward Burton. Uh, next up from Lionel Retail, we picked up some from Wave 4. We got Noah Gregson's Lionel Racing Chevrolet. So how this sponsorship worked, I don't think Lionel paid a dime for it. Um, to the beginning of the season, Scott Gregson, Noah's dad, will pay for the season ahead of time. So, everything's paid for. Plan B being on the car, Lionel being on the car, I don't think they pay very much. Uh, they might pay some, but definitely not full rate. And, um, yeah, so this was, it was basically a freebie sponsorship, and you could, it was pretty obvious this one was going to be an Authentics, considering what it says on the quarter panel there. Authentics. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was pretty obvious, but, um, uh, more Xfinity cars, the better. I mean, I, I wish they'd go out on a limb and release a colleague car, but, you know, whatever. If it's not signed on to a, a deal to make it into Authentics, it's not going to be an Authentics. But we also had the DMP exclusive. The, God, oh, why do we keep doing that? The Rick Jones Irwin Speedboard Toyota. Uh, this is also the liquid color in the set. I'm pretty happy with this car. It's pretty cool, pretty nice. But, yeah, that's really nothing special in that set. Um, I mean, looking at... You know, how do I get this in there? Uh, close enough. Ryan Blaney. I mean, most of these were released in Gold Series already, except for Busher and Eric Jones. So, uh, next up to the Gold Series cars, I did pick up the... I'm going to try to complete the 8s for Xfinity. So I had to pick up a Chase Elliott Aftershocks at some point, and I tried picking one up at Scott's, but uh, Scott didn't have any for, it was really weird. Sometimes he sells out, sometimes he doesn't. I'm surprised he sold out of this one, so I had to pick it up from Plan B. But while I was at Plan B, I also picked up two more cars. 
We have Natalie Decker's truck from 2020. And we have Joe Nemechek and his Mike Harmon Racing Chevrolet, which is really cool. I don't care about the sponsorship on it. Uh, I care that it's a Mike Harmon car getting made into a die cast. I think that is the coolest thing probably of 2020, is that Mike Harmon finally, after about 20 years in NASCAR, finally gets a die cast released. And it has to be a politically charged one. So, But anyway, it's not even his main car, it's his second car. It's a 47, not the 74. 74 is his main car, but that'll come later with the Back to Blue car. But yeah, you'll notice the spelling error on the box, which is pretty interesting. I mean, the, the, the silver tag on here is spelled correctly. The name rails are spelled correctly. The rear window is spelled correctly. I don't know why they messed up the box. It's a very common mistake. Some people spell it check. Some people, or with a C, some people will only spell it uh, the correct way. And then, I forgot, I also picked this up from Lionel Retail, because Plan B was sold out. It is the Kobe Bryant Tribute Ford for body armor and Ryan Blaney. Probably one of the better looking cars this year, even though it's just a gradient with snake uh, snake scales on there. I still think that's a really cool car. And since I'm a Ryan Blaney completionist, I am very happy that that car got released. But yeah, uh, overall, I think the I don't know, between the Harmon car and the Blaney car, I mean, those are probably my favorites. Uh, the Hamilton Jr. is a pretty cool one. Glad to finally get that. Kenny Wallace is still going to be a pain in the ass to find. I mean, that, that was auctions. He had the Kenny Wallace Hot Wheels car, but uh, it went for 50 bucks, over 50 bucks. so I had to pass on that. The Hamilton Jr. I got for 15 maybe. But, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys later.